for Hudson Fire, Hudson EMS backup crew, Hudson Rescue and First Responders. On the interstate, respond to the 4 eastbound off ramp. Again, this is the 4 eastbound off ramp. You can report of a semi that rolled off the road, took down a power line. We do have a grass fire and some live wires. Also, a vehicle that struck a downed semi. And now that is also on fire. Hi, I'm Randolph Mantooth. Some of you may recognize me as Johnny Gage from the television show Emergency. St. Croix County is the gateway to the Twin Cities of Minnesota, a place where commerce and recreation come together in the fastest growing region in the state of Wisconsin. This is the place we call home. Since 1970, St. Croix EMS has been a part of the Hudson area. This service was born out of a commitment of neighbors helping neighbors. This blend of volunteerism and training is a commitment to be there when it matters the most. The challenge of being there when medical emergencies arise in a 24-hour-a-day watch and our mission to you is being there when minutes count. In the early days of EMS, before Johnny and Roy and Squad 51, Pre-hospital care consisted of little more than just getting your patient to the hospital as quickly as you could, usually in a modified Cadillac with little or no emergency equipment. Today, St. Croix EMS and Rescue has become an extension of the hospital's emergency room, providing advanced life-saving equipment and highly trained medical personnel to residents at a cost well below the per capita state average for similar ALS services. We've got a uh, Wisconsin zip code, but given our geographic area and right location to the Twin Cities metro area, we are in essence a, a bedroom community of the Twin Cities. With the growth and the upgrade of level of care that we've been able to provide, we've added full-time paramedics to respond in conjunction with the volunteers. Uh, we felt this was a uh, best fit scenario for our community and our service. We're able to get a paramedic on scene on average in the city of Hudson in approximately four and a half minutes. Uh, from the time they're dispatched to on scene and uh, I believe you know we are a very diverse group with a lot of backgrounds with all one common goal and uh, that is to provide the best patient care that we possibly can. St. Croix EMS and Rescue utilizes a fast response system designed to get advanced life support to the scene as quickly as possible utilizing both paramedics and EMTs. This system has become a model for other services in Wisconsin and across the Midwest. The paramedics and EMTs within our system work very well together. The majority of our EMTs and almost all of them are trained to assist the paramedic in uh, different situations to help with advanced life support care. With that we're able to rely on each one another to get through the situation from the beginning of the call to the end of the call. We're here to help the community and help each other out. I think that's why everyone is here and that's the majority of the satisfaction is from helping the community and helping the patient. St. Croix EMS and Rescue, unlike most services, specializes in technical rescue operations, including high angle rope rescues, dive operations, swift water rescues, and vehicle extrication. Each of these areas trains extensively to maintain the highest levels of qualifications in their respective areas. We are tasked with the with the job responsibility of securing that scene or making that scene as safe as possible. And by having the EMS and rescue together, we can have that continuity of care immediately. And, and when a rescue does access that patient, whether it be in a high angle situation off of a cliff, a, a water tower, a dive, dive rescue situation where it is a, a submerged victim, um, or even the, the ambiguous uh, vehicle crash where the, the, the person or persons are trapped in the vehicle, once we access that patient through the rescue component of, of St. Croix EMS, we can then continue the continuity of care immediately with the EMS aspect and, and treat that patient. I mean, the, the EMS fire rescue people are really adventure-oriented type A personalities, but these people seem to even be maybe a step above that. They're working on the edge 
they're working in bad areas, they're working at height, and that's something that's just interesting to them. And, and I think it's the, the really super type A personality that uh, does this type of thing. But we try to get access to the patients very early, get care to them. Uh, there are several paramedics on our technical team that we can get to a patient in a bad spot. So not only are we packaging the patients up and getting them out, we've also got to, we've got to get our people in, get our medics in, get our medical equipment in, start treating the patient early. Um, the golden hour is something that we can maybe stretch a little with our uh, level of care with our paramedics and their ability to access patients in, in bad situations. We're very fortunate in that the St. Croix River uh, runs through our area. It's extremely beautiful as you can see and so a lot of visitors come to this area and are attracted to this area for obvious reasons and this once again uh, translated into uh, you know, more and more injuries occurring and specifically for the dive team uh, the increased boater traffic also meant that there was an increase in our call volume in the, in the area of water related incidents. Specifically we've had some drownings over the years and uh, once we decided to put the, you know, put the, the basically the, the wheels in motion to put our team together, we found that we were busier than we had anticipated being. Scuba diving requires uh, people to be in tip-top uh, shape and they have to ask themselves the question, are they willing to put in the time, the energy, and the, the effort really to keep themselves in good shape. You know, we train much more than we rescue. The majority of our time is spent training. Every incident is a, we consider a cold water drowning. Uh, this buys us a little bit of time as far as resuscitative efforts. Uh, and being on the St. Croix River, uh, it, the water is moving and, and so it allows for some you know, cooler temperatures. Once again, since we're up north here, uh, the water temperatures do tend to be uh, on the cold side. So th this is, uh, I guess if you want to call it an upside, but when we uh, consider things a cold water drowning, time is of the essence if we are going to you know, have a successful uh, resuscitation. Chances of survival increase greatly but when you have a dive team such as this and a rescue service such as ours uh, in, uh, you know, available at a moment's notice to respond. St. Croix EMS is called on by other services to assist with rescue operations throughout the region. A reputation based on excellence and professionalism has made us a valued commodity throughout the region. At the heart of our organization and our mission is a foundation of family and dedication to our community, families and friends. In that respect, things haven't changed all that much. Every day we get to make a difference in, in the worst day of people's lives and uh, I think that, that's really special. We have a special bond between our team here and uh, we work crazy hours and do crazy things and we're crazy people but it's, it's something really special and uh, I don't think you could really find it anywhere else. Uh, it's usually their emergency but it's, it's our job and it's, it's what we do every day and uh, for them it's a it's a horrible experience, but for us, I mean, it's what we train to do, and it's really satisfying uh, to be able to, to play that part in people's lives. I just like the change of pace. I'm not uh, the kind of person that likes to sit in an office, and um, it's different every day. What you do, there's nothing really the same. Be able to talk to people, relate to them, their families, all the different environments and even the different situations um, that they're in, whether they're having a heart attack or they're in a bad car accident or you know, any sort of medical. Uh, everything's different, you know. Treating the anxieties and the apprehension that the people have is often as important as treating the physical injuries. They are very scared. Treat them like what you would want somebody to treat you. Are you going to yell at me because I'm sick? No. But we always got to remember that, even if it's somebody we don't know we're still going to treat them exactly the same as if it was our own family. You see a lot. You have to um, be able to put your emotions aside and take care, of, take care of the person that needs your help. Children, I think about my own kids and how I would want somebody to treat them. And I always take that into consideration when I'm working with a patient because it could be my mom or my child that I'm working on. When that pager goes off, you need to know that everybody's going to be there and everybody's going to be 
watching each other. There's situations where not only are you there taking care of the patient, but it's a dangerous environment. You need to know that your team is watching out and everybody's watching out for one another on that scene for, for our safety as well as the patient. As Hudson and the surrounding area grows, St. Croix EMS will advance to meet the needs of the community. St. Croix EMS is confident as we look to the future and equally as proud as we reflect on our history. We will continue to serve without boundaries or prejudice. We'll be there when needed to help the sick and injured professionally and compassionately. We will continue to grow, to improve ourselves, and to make this place we call home safe for you and yours for generations to come.